Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Knowledge Boy. Exercise 9.2 Composite Function. We are doing question number 10 onward today. In first equation, we have the function f of x is equals to 2 upon x minus 3. And the g of x is given ax squared plus b. Uh, we and we are the constant term. We are doing the a part first. Be careful when you write g of two is equals to five. It means the value of x is five. So what you will do in this part, like you have to write g of two, and a x x will become two square and plus b, and then g of two I will write five. So there is a like students like here do the mistake. That's they write here g of 5 or g of 2 they do the mistake here so be careful 4a plus b this is the first equation the second is given g f 1 is equal to minus 1 so uh, i explained in the last video this we have two possibilities here we can find f 1 first so if i find f 1 first i'm talking about this part okay the f1 the f of 1 is coming in the fx equation we can write 2 upon 1 minus 3 and it's coming 2 upon minus 2 and f of 1 is coming minus 1 it's minus 1 so this minus 1 means we got the value of this f of 1 is minus 1 it means now we need to substitute g of minus 1 that is equals to minus 1 now so now g of minus 1 will be equal to a minus 1 square plus b and this g of minus 1 is becoming now minus 1 and this positive a plus b this is equation number 2 this is second equation and this is the first equation we had now we just need to do simultaneous equation and we can get the answer so 5 is equals to 4a plus b i will use elimination method minus 1 is equals to a plus b when we minus both the equations then this is minus this is minus and this is plus this sign is no more cancel out so this is coming 3a is equals to equal to this is coming 4 sorry this is coming 6 now and a is coming 6 upon 3 is 2 and we know the value of a now second part like if you want to find the value of b you can substitute here so minus 1 is equals to 2 plus b and b is becoming minus 3 now moving to part b in b part they asked to obtain an expression for gf so I think so uh, there is no problem you know the value of like uh, equation of g function of g is now x square means you will write 2 x squared and minus 3 now you can put f in g so g f will be equals to I will copy g first with the square and minus 3 and I will substitute here 2 upon x minus 3 you can keep like this or you can expand there is no problem but this is the way we can do so let me check the answer of this part this is question number 10 and the 10 answer is 2 minus 3 and this is also like this same and you can multiply this 2 square is 4 and this is good question number uh, 11 uh, I will not do all the questions now I will just explain this how we can do this f of x is 1 upon x plus 1 and g of x is x upon x minus 2. So, obtain an expression for f, g and g, f. I think so there is no problem. You can find the expression for f, g and g, f and find the values of this. Okay, what is here actually? The equation. Uh, of fg plus gf will be added and equal to zero and we can just like equate and solve and sorry add and equal to zero and then we can simplify there is no problem in this part i think so 
question number 12 is a little bit, uh, okay, we can move on. Uh, there is a concept of sequence here. I would like to give x minus 1. And the f, show that f square is okay. So we need to find f of f because f square means f of f and I will substitute in the place of x, in the place of f, sorry, in the place of x, I will put all the whole equation once again, x plus 1 upon x minus 1, x plus 1 upon x minus 1. Okay. So, if we simplify this part, uh, LCM is coming x minus 1. Here, x minus 1 is LCM here. And x minus 1 is also the LCM here. After the LCM, we can write x plus 1. And this x minus 1 multiplied by like this plus x, it will become x minus 1. And when we simplify this part, x plus 1, I should copy this. And minus this multiply with this, but I will write in the bracket because the sign will change. So, this is cancel out first of all. What we have here? x, x cancel out. No, sorry. x and x is 2x. And this 1 and 1 cancel out. Only 2x is there. Here, when we simplify x plus 1 minus x and plus 1 is coming 2x upon x, x cancel out. It's only 2. 2 upon 2 is coming x and we have 2. It's shown f square x is coming x okay actually there is a pattern here uh, the pattern means the sequence here i want to explain you uh, f5x we need to find just one thing if you observe here the f of x is here x plus 1 upon x minus 1 and when you form uh, when you got the answer of f square x is coming only x. So what do you observe when I find a uh, cube? When I find cube, just only writing cube here, f is this. When I find cube here, just observe. Cube means I will substitute square in f. When I substitute x in this, just observe one thing. This x is and this x will remain same. This will like x, it will be the same. It means the f cube is same as f. So it means we will get x plus 1 upon x minus 1. And when you find f4, this will again x. When you find f5, this will be again x plus 1 upon x minus 1 is a pattern actually. Again x. So it means uh, the odd pattern, this is odd, all odd patterns are same and all even patterns are same. So it means when you find, when you want to find only F5, this even is odd pattern. And when you find F10 is even pattern. So it means I will write F5 of X is equal to X plus 1 upon X minus 1. And this cannot be, X cannot be like 1 because we do not need 0 here so and if you want to find f10 so f10 means what will happen f10 is an even pattern so that will become only x and that's we have done uh, so let me check the answer of this part uh, question number 11 so we're doing 12 uh, f10 is x and f5 is same as x uh, plus 1 upon x minus 1. So, this is a way we had done question number 12. Uh, in question number 13, uh, f square, f5, f, g square, and g5. I think so. You can try this question. It's a very simple question. I would like to move to question number 14. Just to explain you, uh, like f of b is equals to b. So be careful when you write f of x is equals to b upon x minus a means I will write b here first. 
and then again f of b is equals to b so then again i will write b is equals to b upon b minus a and then you can do cross multiplication and get an equation second part is f of 2a is equals to 2a so be careful first of all you have to find 2a put the value here b upon 2a minus a then we can simplify it's coming a and this is going to be equals to a so i think so we have two equations you can use simultaneous and you can show it i think so and uh, find the value of a and b when you get the value of a and b f of f is equals to x show that if means f of f is equals to x uh, you have to put the value whole equation f in the place of x and then equate again with x and prove this equation i think so there's no problem uh, it, it still if you have any problem to do this question please write in my comments so i i would like to do something and explain how to uh, write like do this question f of x is equals to q upon x plus k actually these uh, this exercise is enough here because the composite function the main exercise is 9.3 the inverse function the most important part so we will be moving inverse function function and sketches of the inverse function so given that okay f squared 2 is equals to 2 upon 3 f of 1 what you can do you can find f of 1 first f of 1 will be 2 upon 1 plus k and it's coming 2 plus k only 2 plus k is here then you have to find what do you mean by f f2 i told you you do not need to find the composite function just find f of 2 first what is f of 2 f of 2 is coming 2 upon 2 plus k is coming 1 plus k then if you want to find f of like what is the value of this part this part is 2 upon this part is 1 plus k and then plus k and that's the equation for this part so you can write 2 upon 1 plus k plus k is equals to 2 upon 3 times 2 plus k we can write in the bracket and we can simplify and uh, possible values means you will be having a quadratic equation and then you can simplify i think so you can take calcium one and you can simplify uh question number 16 is the last question uh, and i would like to solve this question to explain this how we can do it x plus x plus 1 and prove that f square is coming this so okay prove means we have to write f of f because f square means we have to find like f into f and then we can prove there is no problem we can get the answer i know you can do it okay 2x plus 1 and often a similar form f3 okay i would like to do f cube first f cube means because f uh square is already here so i don't need to solve it you can prove you have to prove like put the value of x in the like uh, fx in the place of x so you can get f cube means i have to write there are two possibilities i can write this or is up to you so f square is this i will put here so in the place of x i will write the whole equation x upon 2x plus 1 and here x upon 2x plus 1 and then plus 1. So in the place of x, I have substituted here, here and here the whole equation and plus 1. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, here we can do one thing. The LCM here is coming 2x plus 1. And here is already x upon 2x plus 1. After solving this part, by like picking the LCM is coming x plus 1 multiplied by this is 2x plus 1. This is cancel out. We have x upon, this is coming 3x plus 1. Okay, once again, we have a pattern here. So, f of x is x upon x plus 1 x and plus one when you're thinking about f square when you write f square is coming x upon 
plus 1 is there, but we have 2x. x, 2x. But when we're talking about x like f cube, we got the relation here x upon plus 1. And we write here 3x. So what are you observing when you have, suppose when you have f10, for example, I'm just giving an example. So f10 means this will be x, this will be plus, 1 is x, 2 is 2x, 3 is 3x, so 10 will be 10x. In the same way, when you have, like, you're talking about, hence, fn. So fn will be same as 10x, like x upon plus 1, and I will write here nx, and we, we have done it. So this is the way we can get the equation. But what, in this part, x cannot be minus 1. In this part, x cannot be uh, minus 1 upon 2. In this part, x cannot be minus 1 upon 3. How we can get it? Actually, this we have to make equal to 0. x equals to minus 1 upon 3. So it cannot be. This 2x plus 1 equal to 0. This is coming this. So nx plus 1 equal to 0. x is coming minus 1 upon n. So I can write x cannot be minus 1 upon n. And all the values will be like minus 1, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4, 1 upon all minus sign. Like will not be accepted. So by this way, we have a question of 16. The entire exercise 9.2 composed function. Next exercise is very important about the inverse function, the most important part, the backbone of the like functions. We're going to discuss with you. And once again, please share with your friends, like my video, subscribe my channel. This is a normal way to say, but I'm very happy when the students are responding me. Thank you so much and have a nice day.